Welcome brothers and sisters, welcome to another video of Triple Grace. My name is Michael, I'm the founder of Triple Grace and the Righteous Past Movement Foundation. And the topic of this video is the Sixth Seal. Brothers and sisters, I can see that there is a lot of hype in the moment about the Sixth Seal. That the Sixth Seal is about to be opened and that we are at the time of God's rest, and that we are at the time of the rest of the Lamb, and that very soon the, the rich people will hide into the caves, and that everything will come to pass, and that the, the colors in the sky will change, all what is predicted for the sixth seal. Brothers and sisters, do not follow this hype. We are not at the sixth seal, physically. I understand how it's coming forth because we have we have a understanding of a spiritual progression of the seals but this will not manifest on the earth yet we know and understand that we are at the beginning of the seals right now with the first seal coming up which is our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, and the light that he will bestow unto the harvest workers, to, to go onto the battlefields and to conquer the world. That's coming up. And it will not only be a few days from the first to the sixth seal. Why? Because there are major events that will take place. A harvest of the whole world has to be brought in through a small group of harvest workers in all the nations. The escape of the innocent must be before that, of the children and the Leabrites. Then the Antichrist must rise in power to all the people who believe we are the sixth seal. Where is the Antichrist in power? We know how it, how it will unfold. We also know what is going to happen before the rapture at the sixth seal, that the Antichrist will be killed. But for an Antichrist to be killed, he has to be first in place and speak blasphemous things against Jesus Christ, what, what he has not done. Where is he? He is still in hiding because it is just only a spiritual feeling of the sixth seal right now, but not the physical manifested yet. The rising of Antichrist in power is the first half of seals, what will, will be at least two years, two to three years. Then, there will in this time, there will be World War Three. Where have you seen the wars that is described in the seals yet? It is not there. How can you claim to have the sixth seal if there is no World War III, if there is no war where all the nations will come together? It is clearly written in the scripture that all the nations will turn against one another. We haven't seen that yet. Not even close to it. In this time of the seals, Israel will be removed from their land because the land must rest. That's the reason why Jesus on Mount Zion will come to Jerusalem to rebuild the city, the streets and the temple. And this has not yet happened. There was no attack against Israel yet, but it will come very shortly. I think it will happen until April 2022 that we see the first attack against Israel. And following in the following months, in that year, Israel will be removed from the land, and the land will rest. Brothers and sisters, get an understanding that also many people have dreams and visions about the sixth seal. They also had dreams and vision about the Revelation 12 sign in 2017, and we also know by now that it was just the spiritual awakening to this sign, not yet the physical manifestation of the Revelation 12 sign on earth. So do not follow this hype and say, oh, the rapture of the church must be now, because it won't. 
There is a kind of, I put it in bracket rapture now, what is the escape of the innocent, the part of the children and part of the brides that will go, part of the church that will go, small amount, maybe 10%, but not more. The rest will go through the seals, the rest will be suffering. Where was the persecution, by the way, of the Christians? That is described in a terrible way. Where are the FEMA camps? Where are all this? They are not there yet. So we are not even close to the seals. We, are, we haven't seen war. We haven't seen famine. We haven't seen the pestilences yet. This COVID thing is just a precursor. It is not the famine, not the pestilences that is going to come. The pestilences are going to come, they are coming because of also the war that is coming. And most likely a nuclear war. So there will be a lot of problems, food shortages, pestilences will come up. Because of all this, then a lot of deaths and then Hades will follow. Where has Hades overrun the earth yet? Not yet, not even close to it. We are just in the beginning of the seals. And it will take until the end of 2026 in linear time before we are at this point of the sixth seal. The end of 2006, uh, 2026 <coughs> to the beginning of 2027 will be the time when the sixth seal will be manifested physically on the earth. There is a lot of time. This time is required. It is required to bring in the multitude closed and white. Because it is written in the scripture that they have to clean their garment in the blood of the Lamb. That is not done with a, with a snip of a finger. This is a process. They will be handed over to the shepherds and they will clean them on the way to Mount Zion. That is not done in a few days nor even in a few weeks. It will be done over a seven-year period, or six years to the sixth seal. What would be the end of 2026 in linear time to the beginning of 2027 with the rupture of the church and the end of the church age and the end of grace. Until then, a great harvest and a great revival will come forth. Therefore, you see it in the seven churches, the first church is the church of Ephesus. These are the new apostles that will be called for the harvest. Have you seen them being called right now? Officially? No. The next church is the church of Smyrna. What is the one that will be beheaded? Where are the people beheaded by the Antichrist right now? Where was the fifth seal where the people are under the altar? Nothing has physically manifested yet, but it will begin because we are at the end of the first seven years that have started with the blood moon tetrad, the spiritual awakening of so many people, blood moon tetrads, 14, 15, 17, the uh, spiritual uh, revelation 12 sign, waking up a lot of people, bringing forth great ministries, like ministry reveal, for example. It is not the time for the sixth seal now. And also the churches are wrong in the assumption that this is the time for the rapture of the church. Do not worry, because you can still volunteer to be a harvest worker and stand with the Lord in this time of seals and to bring forth a multitude closed and white to do a kingdom work for such a time as this. We are looking forward for the first seal to be broken when our Lord and Savior is coming for the brides, when he now will knock at our doors, will tell us it's time for our destiny and purpose in the Lord. Thank you, Jesus, that you are approaching us in such a difficult time so that we can be the beacons of light in the darkness and so that we can go forth in Isaiah 61 to set the captives free to bring in the house of Israel with the grafted in Gentiles, what are representing the churches that will go into the rapture and bring them to Mount Zion at the sixth seal.
all of this will come to pass. But nothing of this has yet been revealed and received. Once we are going into the loop, that's the reason why I talk about Lydia time for 2026. Once we go into the loop, everything will begin. The portal will open. Jesus will be for 40 days on the earth. And that is not the harvest. The 40 days many people claim this is a harvest time. No, it is not. There is another 40 days just before the sixth seal, when the 144,000 in this 40 days will go with the last people who are getting beheaded, the last one of the fifth seal under the altar, going to them with them into the prisons, when the police state is erected by the Antichrist, when the FEMA camps are there, when everything will come to fruition, when the persecution of the Christian is at its height, then the 144,000 in the last 40 days before the sixth seal will go and go with them into prison to, to ease their pass into paradise because they are going to be beheaded and they will help them to stand on the side of the kingdom of God. 40 days just before the sixth seal, 40 days right now at the end of the first seven years, the beginning of the seals and another 40 days before Armageddon. Is there a war at the sixth seal? Oh yes, there is. It is described in 2nd Esther chapter 13, when it's clearly said there is a war against the mountain, when all the nations will stop fighting with one another, when the World War III will be over, and when this nation will all come together under the rulership of the Antichrist to make a war against the mountain that has appeared over the earth. What is Mount Zion? He is coming, standing over the earth, and the world is preparing the weapons to fight that mountain right now with the asteroid de defense system that they are building in the nations, in the US, in Russia, and in China. All is prepared, but we are still years away from the sixth seal and the rapture of the church. There is still hope for a fallen world because the Lord is extending grace until the end of the church age and that will come with the rapture into paradise. Not to the third heaven, but into paradise. The third heaven escape will take place right now where people will be just vanishing. It will not be a rapture. It is just a vanishing. The rapture will be when the angels will come collect the people, bring them to the base of Mount Zion, and then take them into, onto the mountain, Mount Zion. There we have, for example, that wonderful vision of the Norwegian boy. That is for the sixth seal. Brothers and sisters, what we will experience now is Jesus to come, then with the first seal, then we will see the war is coming up. We talked about that in the video yesterday or before yesterday when that will be happening, in the timing. It was yesterday, the perfect timing video. War will come up. Antichrist will then rise in power, Mr. O, because he will bring order out of chaos after the World War Three has started. He will promise peace. That's the reason why he will come in with flattery. And Satan is not on earth yet. He will be indwelling in him because it is a time for the images of the morning stars here on earth. Two sides, the sides of Jesus, the images of Jesus who are walking as a light on the earth and the ones who are the, the sons of darkness with uh, Lucifer, aka Satan, on earth, walking, fulfilling their purposes as the images because this is the time for the images of the sons. It is not the sixth seal, brothers and sisters. I promise you that the rapture of the church will, go, will come to happen, but it's not yet. We will see now first the escape of the innocent and then the beginning of the seals. I hope this clarifies a lot of things. Do not fall for this hype. Do not Things that you have to not to do anything, that you do not have to volunteer, that you have not to, to step forward because the rapture is so close. No, it isn't. 
There is a harvest to be brought in, and an Antichrist will rise as a new Pharaoh of New Egypt. This is coming to pass first, and that will not be done, neither in a few days nor in 40 days, but it will be done over six years. Either in linear time, or as we believe, to a loop. It is the time of God's rest coming, not now, but later. First, grace is extended until that time. That is a pattern of the thief on the cross with Jesus. That is the grace of the Father, of the Son, and the Holy Spirit to give you a chance to stand with the kingdom of God. So don't let everything pass aside and say, oh, I don't have to do anything because the sixth seal is here and we all will be ruptured into paradise. That is not the case. Do not fall for it. These visions that are coming forth and these wonderful videos that are coming forth, I see them and I applaud them all and I say, great work, people. But it's not this timing. Timing is completely off. This is not the timing yet. All what they say will come to pass. The colors in the sky, the two planets, the, the, the cosmic event, the two planets that are standing there. One is Nibiru, one is Mount Zion. They will come to fight with one another. All this is true and will come to pass at the sixth seal. Three days of darkness, all at the sixth seal. It is all right. A war, Antichrist will be killed, all true. Second Esther chapter 13, absolutely true. But not now, the timing is off. Do not believe that you just can run away. But you have a destiny to fulfill, to stand for the kingdom in a dark world and to rescue as many people as possible. So come forth, be part of the remnant army of New Zion. Go into the harvest, go into the fields, set the captives free, break the bond that they have accepted with the toxin and everything. Let them come out of New Egypt, of the metric, of the mind meld with the enemy and break that bond and give them the truth and set them free and take them out of Egypt in a great exodus towards New Zion where they will be handed over to the shepherds and they will prepare them for the rapture of the church at the sixth seal in linear time at the end of 2026, beginning of 2027. Brothers and sisters, I hope this gives you clarification. Choose your path now. Don't remain seated. Stand up. Stand up, volunteer. We need more harvest workers for the great harvest that is coming up. Volunteer. Take it to the Lord. Say, I want to be the harvest worker for you. Allow me to be part as a powerful warrior in the remnant army of New Zion. To set the captives free, to enter the dark places and to find your lost sheep and to return all the prodigal sons and daughters into your open arm. And then the Father will add your name to the list. And he will engrave your name in the, at the gate of New Zion, so that you have an access there, where the Son will be residing after the 40 days as our Commander-in-Chief for the upcoming battles. The time for the first seal is here. And the end of the first seven easy years has come. But the sixth seal is still years away. Now it is up to you where you want to stand. Either to cave in, stand with the enemy, to remain seated and believe that everything what you have done, you have done, or to stand up and to volunteer, to be part of this wonderful harvest that is coming up. Brothers and sisters, be blessed. Be blessed in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen and Amen. Maranatha.